Hi right, guys and gals, welcome back to the shop. Uh, we're out here this afternoon. Justin got home from work early. We are going to reassemble the noodle bug. I think we are done other than a little tweak to the exhaust. And that'll come. The only reason it needs tweaking is to be able to run the muffler because now the rear fender is where the muffler is supposed to go. So Justin's over there cleaning the block. Get her wiped down. And then I'm going to start reassembly. Um, it is, what is it, Justin? 10? Yeah. 10 degrees outside with the wind chill. Right now in here, no, we just got out here and just turned the heater on. Uh, Justin said it was 38, five minutes ago it's 40 now. So the heater is warming it up, which is going to help immensely. So, um, I'm gonna grab the front fender, put the front fender on the forks, get the front tire on the forks, get the forks on, and we'll get the rear tire on, and get it where we can not have it hanging from the ceiling, and then we'll throw the motor and everything like that back on. We'll be back in a sec. Hi right, guys, guys, so here we are. We're gonna throw the front fender back on. Try to get it nice and center. See what we can do. And then, uh, like I said, I'm going to try to get the front tire on. See if Justin wants to keep the wheels black or if we're going to make a change real quick and paint them blue or white. It's up to him. Whatever he decides is what we shall do. So, leave that sit for a sec. I'm going to grab another wrench. It's definitely chilly out here. And get this fender tightened down. Are you uh, done cleaning the motor? As much as I can do. Do we still have tape on the wheels? No. They're good to go? Yeah. I'm be gentle and don't want to scratch anything, that's for sure. You want to hold the... Alright. So, that's on. Um, guess we'll take her down. Do, do we want to put the forks on the bike and then put the wheel on because remember we had the wrestle the wheel in. Maybe we should probably do it off the boat. Okay. Let's do that then. Grab the wheel front wheel. I'm going to uh, grab this blanket. here and I'll take a chance of scratching the paint on the left. Now uh, just will you get me leatherman or side cutters or something so I can cut this tab this hook I got hanging.
came out. All right. You want to bring the wheel and tire over here and a little closer to the heat over here too. Come on, let's get. So this side takes the big spacer. I guess it helps if I put it on the inside of the frame, huh? You're supposed to say however I put it together is right. Let's hope we can get this spacer in. We, uh, and I knew it would happen and I didn't think it would be that drastic. But when we welded the new cross support in for the relocate, all right, Justin, you're going to have to help me pull it. Anyway, when we welded the new relocation and the forks pulled in a little bit, which happens when you weld. And I should have thought about it and put something in here to spread them, keep them spread. We lost about an eighth of an inch. So, um, it might actually be easier if we put it on the bike. Well, then the bike will be hanging, I'm afraid. We don't have anything to hold the bike, you know what I mean? Um, try this, kind of like we did with the back tire. Where's those paper towels you got? Okay. Good. So I'm going to take some paper towels and I'm going to put them here on the frame so we don't scratch it. Close. It's no. Oh, it started behind it. Gentle. Oh. Okay, let's see how we're. Go ahead. You see where you need to go, right? Casually wore a little scratch over here. I got the nut. So for now, everything's just going in the loose, guys. Give me a tape measure. Oh yeah, that's why the wrong side. No, the spacers are on the right sides because of the offset of the wheel. But we need to have the big one on this side. It'll push the tire back center. See how off it is. Mm -hmm. so. 
Yay. Side of the spacers. I think that's gonna throw it way off. The long one has to be on this side. Yeah, but then the tire direction is not right. Yeah, it is. It's that way. Yeah, but I'm saying I can't get the short one between the tire and the frame. The tire is hitting the forks with the short one over here. So, yeah, Nadia. So. So we're not killing ourselves, and the tire needs to go this way a little bit anyway. Uh, the wheel of death action. Of what? The spacer, the big one. Take a touch off of it. It'll let the wheel slide over, and we can get everything in better, too. So it won't be a big of a deal. That big of a deal at all. I mean, we're only talking an eighth of an inch, sixteenth of an inch. And that'll let the wheel slide over in the forks and go on a lot easier. So, big spacer right here. Vice grips. Hey guys, we'll be back in a sec. Hey guys, so what we did is where'd it go? I think you just shut that up. That's what we cut off. Cut that off the long spacer. It slides right in. The tire's centered. It looks great. Fender's a little cop cockeyed because of no, it's old. You could probably put a little heat to it, let it sit in the sun one day and tweak it. So here comes the next fun part, cutting her down. So we're going to cut this. Get that out of the way so we don't poke an eyeball out. All right, Justin, bring her in. Hold on, let's... Must be for the Manko. Yeah. Spinny tire. Yeah. The, the, the day, Junior, right? <laughs> Make it harder when you got the weight on it. See, she'll drop in now. Put the bolt. Uh, it's over here. You got it. There you go. All right. I'll lean the bars back, 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 back. It's on. Here, blind it. You're just gonna hold, hold that because we. Nobody saw that, right? Hope not. Gotta line the pin up in the middle. Here. I'll do this, you do that. Bring her in. Oh, I hit myself right in the jaw. I think, hold on. Stop. Hold the, just hold the frame real quick. You got it? Co Cody, maybe, really. maybe help me for a second. Cody, hold, just reach up and hold the handlebars. So he can hold it. Don't stop pulling it forward. Just hold it. We're, we can't get the angle right because of the back being tied up. Yeah. And I don't want to set the frame on the ground. All right. Pull yeah, pulley bolt out. I can't see, so you got to uh, keep pulling one. the... I'm not... It's... 
the pin in the back there. Right, right. And what you do, pinch your finger. <laughs> Too cold for that. Ow. Tragedy. Yeah. All right. Dang, that looks mean. We gonna put the motor together before we put it in? We put the side cover on and everything. I will. Okay. Make it easier to. Well, let's go ahead and get the rear tire in. And that one was a pain anyway. Go ahead and grab it. I gotta put the brake disc on. Okay. Go ahead and put the brake disc on. Cody, you watch him with that. I'm gonna move some things around here so we got a little room. We'll go ahead and. Oops, I lost the washer. Okay. Yep. You're still missing a washer. Looks yeah, like. one of them didn't have one. Oh. Uh, well, there was a dork that put it together without a. Wasn't me. I know, it was me. We weren't supposed to agree, though. Why do you keep agreeing with everything I screw up? Mm -hmm. Five mil. Here, you got one side standard, one side's metric. Uh -huh. I'm gonna get these hooks down, guys, before we strangle ourselves. Cody already about hung himself already while he was filming. So I'm gonna pull these down. Uh, we need to put the chain on before we put the retire on, too, don't we? What? What are you doing? Oh, you dropped it. Turn it around. Just flip the wheel up. It'll fall out. There you go. Oh. There's your washer. Washer. There you go. Y'all gonna keep making fun of me. Oh, oh, oh. You can't put the wheel on yet. What? Well, yeah, because we'll never get the fender on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. We lowered the daggum fender so close, we got to put the fenders on before we can ever put tires on. Low rider problems. Yeah. Uh, Big baller problems. Jesus. Some days, guys, I wonder. I really do. Alright, so, nut, washer, fender, I do not remember which is front, which is back, do you? Uh, no. This is going to be back. One side was a little longer than the other. Do you want the long side or the short side of the back? Uh, long side facing that way. Cover more of the tire, make it look cooler. That size, long side. This? Yeah. Okay. So this is what thought. it looks like. So I thought she's gonna need a little wax where you put that. Well, one of us put that clear coat of clear on it. It got a little dry right there. So she's gonna need a little buff, buff. Ooh wee. Ooh, look at that. I guess I should have painted the nut washer blue on. I wasn't thinking about huh. We can pull them back later and do it once we get the tire on. Yeah. Because of the way we put the stud in it. 
Uh, what is that? Seven sixteens? Yeah. I'm just going to snug this so it doesn't roll around on us. We can move it and finish tightening it once we're on. Um, I want to cut one of them spacers down a little bit. Were we off a little bit from side to side at all? In the back? Yeah. I don't think so. Just because we had to fight it to get it in so bad, you know what I mean? Yeah. When we did the mock-up. Definitely, well, we can't because then your brake rotor won't line up. So we're just going to have to fight. You can try going back up. I can fight. Huh? I can fight. Um, Is that ready? Yeah. Alright. Put it on the correct way this time. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know what? It's been that kind of day. <laughs> Justin worked his first shift back to work. Here, I, I saw that look on your face. Here, I'll help you out. Thank you. Have an aneurysm. Yeah. First shift back to work since knee surgery today. Worked a seven hour shift. My longest before this was a four and a half hour shift, so. So yeah, they really put him through the paces today there. Your paper towel up. Thank you. So, go ahead and stick this on the sprocket. All right. Yeah. Give me the, which way are we going in, this way? Yeah. Well, you know what, let's go. I don't know. Well, your nut's on the front on that side over there, so we'll go this way. Okay. Well, no because this is how the spacers were, so we'll go this way. All right. Bear up here. This is gonna be a nightmare. Up a little more. Ow! My finger. <laughs> up, up a little more. Forward just a touch. Up just a touch. There. It's because we're not centered. All right, it, it'll hang. It's not going to go anywhere. Uh, you got the other space in the nut? Yeah. Oh, uh, take the towel. Is there any know we're going to have to pry? Uh, yeah. What? Oh, oh that's not slid. that much. The wheel slid. Maybe I'll push the wheel back over. That's really not that much. No, it's not as... Less than a 16th. It's less than I've remembered. No, you know what? When we pried it, we didn't have a dagum rotor on. Uh -huh. Let's push, bolt through a little more. Let me hold the tire, sir. Yes, pick the tire up what you can. Hold on, stop. Well, I thought I got you. See if it'll go through. Almost. Pretty close. Where's the. I put. Yeah. Gently. No, that's scary. Where's the nut at? Right here. Right. Yeah. Right. It's going. Yep. Yeah. 
Go ahead, Ted. Go away. Guys, we're just... We're not riding it tonight. No. We're just trying to get it kind of mocked up back together. We'll come through and tighten and uh, cotter pin everything when we're there. All right. Let's see what she looks like. Personally, I really like the black wheels. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be catcalling this bike a lot this video. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to get the Allen source out of your way. That 8 millimeter is on the front of the left. And we got to uh, pop the kill switch back through. Yep. I'm going to put these away. Did we show them what we... Oh, yeah, we did. To the pull start. Uh, is it how it's going to... Well, they saw the picture of the pull start painted. Yeah. If they follow us on all our social media, Shade Mechanics, Facebook, we, Instagram. So we do, let's move this around a little bit. Boom! Three points. There, we'll set that like that. That way we get all the bolts easy. It won't hurt anything to sit like that for just a minute. Yeah. We still got to drive the ass. Drop the ass up. Alright. Momento of truth though. No Spanish. I'm gonna put the bag in the truck. Oh. Bam! Sweet. Kill switches in. Alright, I'm gonna let you do this part. Okay. I'm just setting it down here. I'll just. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. I can't remember which ones it is. It's the eight with the washer? Yeah. And uh yeah. It can't be. These are the there's only three and that's where the pull start. It's these. Okay. Yeah, yeah there's still eights. So uh, there you go. Well a little heater works good. Yeah. Yeah. 26 degrees and 20 degrees. Do you want to pop this behind or keep it in front? Whatever you want to do. I feel like it'll look better behind if it'll go back there. Yeah, I just got to do that. Yep. There you go. Pretty sure I've showed you all this trick before. If you're getting something in and starting a bolt, you can take the ratchet and have your extension pop that in and just use the extension. Use your hands. It's a lot easier than twisting it with the ratchet still on it. There's another trick you can do too. I'm pretty sure I've shown Justin. This is not going in. Maybe because the washer's not lined up perfectly. Go, just double check that you're lined up. Oh, it's going. You don't want to cross that and have to put a dugout. That's good. Do you, uh, you want to say, do you want the impact? Nah. I don't need it. I like it's not charged anyway. Yeah. Be the hardest one. Of course. What? So of course it'll be the hardest one. You don't care if I put your throttle on, do you? No care. Yeah, the brake and the throttle is over. No brakes on the bench on the shelf. Oh. Right 
content that we don't have ten more. Yeah. This one. Being very careful. I don't want to scratch his paint. I don't need him yelling at me. I'll knock you out. I won't yell at you. Yeah, okay. I'm feeling big today. Yep. Put on. Put the full start on. Yeah, go ahead. Good. I can't remember which one to thread it. So it's this one, this one, and this one. Which way are you putting the full start back forward again? Yeah. Do the bottom one first. <clears throat> Oh, I moved it, sorry. Well, I tell you. We might, have to, we might have to take commercial work, so Justin gives attitude range. Mm -hmm. Sure. So, I think we are going to take a break. You guys have seen us put side covers on and off a hundred times. So... We're gonna work a little bit and we'll show you some progress here in a minute. All right guys, so we got the engine all buttoned up. Uh, so, it's pretty much time for this to go in this new home, or new and improved home. Pick it up, slide back. All right, we're on. It is. It's got to go your way a lot, like an inch. Ow. Okay. It's bolts. Oh. Grab something. I know. Mm -hmm. Washer on the bottom, right? Or, I mean, top yeah. of that bottom. Yep. That's now. Tensioner. Hopefully you got all these pieces in on the right direction. For sure I do. This chain tensioner has seen better days, that's for sure.
как ты был. We already know from past experiences that we need the, the chain tensioner all the way back. So do that. Um, seven six inch, half inch, what is that? Uh, seven six inch up there. Where's the seven? Nope, half. It is. It backs a seven. Yeah. You got that other one over there? <laughs> Come on. No, it is a half, huh? Yep. Okay, let me grab your, your wrench. Let me find one. Pitch. Oh, we should have put the seat on. Seat off without or with the motor on, so let's do it. Okay. Yeah, we got a real pulse for that. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna stick it on. Yeah. All right, you ready? You on? Yep. Sacrifice my knuckles for the paint. Oh, it's spinning. Put the bolt. Yeah, this is too big. Yeah. I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's too big. Oh, you had a seven. That's a half. Is it? Yeah. Say 12. Oh, it's half. 916? Uh, no, 916 oh, is bigger. Yeah. Brain's not working. Yeah. That one will do it. 12. Yeah. I'm sure this is supposed to be a 12 too. Alright. So there's that. Oh yeah, well, the motor's got to slide forward. Oh. Keep moving. There we go. Now, chain alignment. You <coughs> tell me. Uh, where's that seven sixteenths? Do what? Motor's gonna go that way. Is there a half? Of course, it's a half. Inch. The yep. right there. Yep. Okay, let's get the sucker tight now. Get a half inch deep well. You got a half inch already. Yep. I'll let this one. Alright. Now you're on top. Oh. Whoops. Kickstand. Looks like there's something stuck to the bottom of the motor. Maybe it's my imagination, doesn't it though? Washers. No, between the motor and the frame? Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right here? Maybe. Alright, let's get the front one. I mean, like, no, you can't make anything under it. No, you could have picked something up. Oh, uh, maybe. Jeez. Oops. Loosen yeah. up. So, grab your wrench. Yep, there's something 
on there. Of what? It's like a piece of metal or a shim or something. Is it will pick? It could just be dirt. Where there's something there. Maybe it's just the oh, it's the machining. Never mind. Sorry. Heart attack averted. I don't know about you guys, but I really like the black wheels on the blue and the white. I think it just ties it all together. I, I think like it would look weird. What? I like it. Yeah. I think it would look a little bit weird if they were white. Yeah, I agree. Right. We need to put <laughs> another nut on the bottom of every one. Another one? Or not nut washer. Oh. Um, this one was trying to pull through the frame. Oh. So. Starting back over. Snug this up and then we will uh, check. Oops. Trench. I'm going to hold the motor. Okay. Right here. Ready? Yep. Motor's 
Fender looks centered so I can finish tightening it down. Well, that was. Good? Yep. We're never going to get it bent far enough out. We'll have to heat the ever-living crap out of it. We might be able to heat it up and push it in. And then your fender out here, your muffler out here again. That'd be cool. Just straight this time and not crooked. Yeah. Here's the problem, guys. It hits. That's, that's a later date. We don't have to have that on right now. Uh, what's next? Brakes. Okay. I mean, that'll take two minutes, but. Well, you can get little those. stuff. Huh? Little stuff. Brakes, foot pads, kickstand. Yep. I didn't take the kickstand off, so I don't know how it goes. You helped. You did? Yeah. Here you go. Have fun. Working on the kickstand. I just don't remember. Oh, there's a spring tube gap in that spring. That's for sure. Good job. How in the world? Bolt actually threads into the kickstand itself, tightens down on itself, and then the nut locks it down. Um, let me grab a wrench. Right size, of course not. So Justin's doing is much more interesting. Not really. Just trying not to scratch everything, but of course it's going to. The other one started. There you go. Don't break it. What? But it's not going down all the way. It's not going to. That's, that one did. Yeah, because this one was loose, you just get them and you got it upside down. See the up? Versus up on it. <laughs> it happens. You're in a hurry. You want to see your bike done. I get it. Here, hold back. Oops. Jeeps is up. <clears throat> Here 
however you want it. Okay. If it both sides tighten all the way flat, then they would never crimp the bar, you know what I mean? Yeah. Here, tighten it down. Just snug them both down. Till they're about even gap, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just cleaning up the return spring for the kickstand. It uh, never got painted. Oops. You can't see it anywhere. Not really. Yeah, we're gonna paint that spring. Looks bad. Yeah. Oh, it's got red spots on it. Oh. It's no big deal. We can come back and touch it up. Unless I can get all the paint off of it. And then we'll just leave it chrome. Some buck. Yeah. Definitely got enough paint. Everything that came apart loose is going back tight. <laughs> Do you still have that uh, assortment pack of cutter pins in your truck? Yes, I do. Okay, we're going to need them at yeah. some point. around here Cody yeah mm -hmm. all right we're gonna button some more things up we gotta run out to Justin's truck and get the cutter pins and uh, we'll be back hey guys so <coughs> <sorry. laughs> after what seems like forever of redoing this bike it is finally done we repainted it I tried to repaint it that didn't work had to go through a lot found this color painted it this color it I am blown away by how good it looks the black wheels with the blue and the white the motor just everything it all buttoned up exactly how I wanted it Thanks to dad for the help paying for all the paint and all that Thanks to Cody for filming the whole thing I'm Getting his hands dirty. Yep. He helped with a lot More than I did with anything when I was 12, so and He was the right hand man kind of when you were Down with your knee there for the first couple of days. Yep So but, Well Walk them around it, show them everything, show them what we did with fenders. So, full start. I'm pretty sure you guys saw when the fenders looked like they were all the way up in the air. We took them, 
We've slammed them down. They're pretty much that far off the tire. We took a piece of fuel line, put it. It was crazy. You guys saw it. The original These, fender mount was right there. Yeah. So that's how far we brought the front fender down. The back fender, you can't take, or I mean, we welded the stud onto the fender because it's so low you can't fit a wrench under there to take it off with a nut and a bolt. So we had to weld the stud. This thing, just like the front, is a piece of fuel line off the tire. That's how close it is. It makes it look amazing. We took this off camera, actually. We did this about half an hour ago, 20 minutes. We heated this header up and we bent it so that it could shoot through the back right here. Because if not, when we put the muffler on, it would have hit this, the piece of the frame. So that looks a lot better than it did. It doesn't have that piece of pipe, the elbow in it. So it looks a lot cleaner. Uh, I'm lost for words about how good it looks. We did the side cover on the engine in blue, and then we painted the pull start off white to match it. We're going to recover the seat, guys. We're just, we got other stuff we want to work on. This is able to be ridden as is. Um, everything's tight. You know, we said earlier in the video we weren't going to ride it, but I think Justin's got a surprise. Tell him the reason, too. We promised him. So, obviously the bike wasn't ready uh, till today. But we said if we got to 25 subscribers, this thing would be burning some rubber. And that's what y'all did. I think now we're at 29. So you guys smashed it. So, this is overdue, but it's finally done. So, uh, I think it's ready to burn some rubber. Yep, tell us what you think, guys. Yep, leave a comment. It's not perfect, you guys, you know, you see what we're working in, but come on. The original fender is actually mounted here. Actually, I have, still have the bar we cut out. Gives you an idea where the original fender was. The muffler actually came through the same spot but went under the fender. And that's how low, much we lowered it. And then, uh, I don't know if Justin was really keen on the idea at first, but I thought, let's change it up a little bit. I wanted to, uh, if y'all watched some of the other videos, you probably saw it. That blue tape ran. I wanted to make like a chopper rear fender. And then Justin and I put our heads together and decided to cut them. We actually took the front fender and laid it right over the rear fender at the end, marked it, slid it forward so we'd still have a decent size fender and cut basically the angles the same to match the front. Um, off camera, we had to bleed the brakes. We need to get that off the bars. So we'll get that done. Um, nut bolted everything. Everything's got cotter pins in it. Um, yeah. There's more work coming to it. I think uh, smaller rear sprocket, rear pulse for the seat, support and polish the head. Yep. Maybe deck it. So we'll see. And the weather's getting nicer next week. Yeah. This you'll see this thing on the road soon. Yeah, we'll be doing a speed run and a trial ride and everything here. Uh, we might be able to do it Thursday, depending on the weather. You have to wear your britches until you don't freeze and your gloves. Yep. Yeah, so, hey guys. Well, we're going to uh, 
give you what we promised. Justin's a little bit excited. A little bit. So we're gonna let this warm up for a minute. Drop it down, let it warm up. Um, yeah, that's that's coming off. We just put the muffler on just so you guys can see how it's gonna be when we ride around. But uh, yeah, it's not gonna have one for this. So we're gonna be back in a sec. <laughs> 